Oh my gosh, this video got a lot of views. And there's a lot of comments, including whiffies for some reason. Well, today let's do an updated tutorial, this time for the new M1 MacBooks. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go and get Prism, so... Well, where do we do that? Well, just Google search Prism Launcher, it'll, you know, give you the link right here. So click on macOS download, and uh, go to download Universal, which is, well, I guess, what we need. And it gives us a zip, just click it to extract it. Um, on Mac, that's simple enough. We don't need that tab anymore. This comes up later. Uh, so now we have Prism Launcher app. Now, usually I drag this to my downloads, but I already have Prism Launcher, so I'm just going to open it in my downloads, uh, which it'll, I think, bitch about. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Uh, it might show this up here for some reason. Just click Allow, uh, and I'll have to turn my, my ass word. Come on. I have to quit and reopen it because macOS is dumb sometimes. So, there we go. So, the first thing you need to do is add a, an account your Minecraft account, or in this case, Microsoft account, because that's the only ones that exist right now, so uh, looks like I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> my screen's hidden right now for my privacy, because people can actually hack into my account via this. Okay, alright, and now that is done. So now what we need to do is add an instance. First we need to enable betas and make this window larger so we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, and scroll all the way down here, and click beta 1.7.3. Click OK, and uh, so just to, so I don't have to wait while I'm actually talking about stuff, I'm going to just download the game right now and just let it launch once. And uh, this tutorial will include the M1 or the Apple Silicon color shift fix as well. So now um, if we go into the edit button, uh, so we, you won't see that, you'll see version right here. This is what you'll see. Um, what you need to do here is this is where you add your jar mods. Jar mods are mods you add via the add to minecraft.jar button right here. But we're going to do something first. We're actually going to do the M1 fix. Now for this to work, we need to have a jar in a very specific place, in a very specific set of folders. But first we're going to import the JSON component needed to make that work with the jar. So what we do is import components. Um, and go to wherever you save this file. I'm going to provide a, a direct download link to this JSON file at some point after this video is uploaded and down the, in the description. But for now, I'm just going to click open and it, open, it imports a thing called launch wrapper. This is the thing that has that M1 fix. Now what we need to do is like extract this other file that I will also have down the, in the description. Just open this, and here we go. Here's the folder, and uh, this includes a set of folders and the jar in those folders. This is uh, very specifically set up uh, to where I can distribute this, but um, basically what you have to do is find your library folder, which might not always appear. You actually have to do Command J in Home, in your Home folder for this, for this, and then you click Show Library Folder, and then it'll it'll pop up. Otherwise, you can just do uh, Shift Command Period and it shows all the hidden files. And library should be within those, but I have library showing, so I don't need to do that. Now go into application support, and uh, Prism Launcher uh, should be in here. This is this is the different one, this is my main one. There we go, there's Prism Launcher, just sh should say Prism Launcher. Open this, and this is your Prism Launcher folder. Now if you go into libraries, uh, org, the, what, the, what you need to do is just drag or copy the uh, MCP hackers folder into this folder right here. And now we should basically have an M1 fix. But actually I forgot something because we don't have Java yet. And you're definitely not going to have the right version of Java to launch this with, at least most people aren't. So what you have to do is click download Java um, and then go into uh, Java uh, or Az Az Azul Zulu for some reason, and click the newest one, which is 442 as uh, as of this video being recorded, and click download, and it should install and download, and pick that version in the launcher. But because I already have it, what I'm going to do is just select it in my list here. It should say Architecture Arch ARCH64, which is basically the ARM version of Java, which also means it is the Apple Silicon version of Java. Now you can click Launch, and everything should work. 
and as you can see the um, you know some of the bugs with the the M1 you know running old Minecraft are fixed. Um, this fix is not compatible with Forge, however, so you will have to remove this particular fix or deselect it here if you wish to use Minecraft Forge, at least in later versions of Minecraft. Keep in mind of that. But for the mods we're going to add, it shouldn't be that difficult. So the website I use for a lot of 1.7.3 beta mods is mcarchive.net/mods. So let's see what we can add. Uh, something simple that I used as an example in my in, uh, previous video was uh, single player commands. So let's download this again. You, you'll want to download the zip version, not the jar version, because the jar version is an installer, basically. So that's not really going to be very helpful. We'll install mod loader, because that should work. What the heck is it? There, uh, right here. Oh god, they have to change this. It's been a while since I've done this. It's been three years. Almost four. GUI API, no, we're not going to mess with that. Um, let's see if we can get more creeps and weirdos to work. This is going to be kind of a... Oh, never mind. It's actually down. You can't you can't get that anymore. Okay. Uh, we'll install Industrial Craft. See how that would work, if I can. Yeah, there we go. We're going to need audio mod, which is required for quite a few different mods. Pretty much any mod that requires sounds, like Mo Creatures, or indeed, probably Industrial Craft, if they don't have their own kind of audio mod in their mod themselves. I'm going to get a raised mini-map, because that seems simple enough. Not enough items, wasn't out yet. Uh, inventory tweaks was out, I think, but I'm not gonna install that. Let's just say, let's just type in uh, our game version. Let's set, let's set this to beta 1.7.3, whatever that is. There it is. Search, and that should filter by version. So now I'm gonna search for another mod called Mod Loader MP, which is needed for some versions, uh, or some mods, I mean, some very popular mods. Did I already get that? No, I didn't. Okay. You will want uh, how many items over too many items, at least for most mod packs that you would make, because it's just better. Although I'll show you how to install too many items as well. It's the difference between... Okay, I'll just get the most recent one, I guess. So that should be, well, all we need. Now, uh, we can go to our downloads folder, or wherever you put the mods. Basically, these are the mods we're concerned with. Let's put them on my desktop. So we don't need to actually extract any of these except for single player commands. If you have single player commands, you will need to extract the zip and uh, go into the folder and copy worldedit.jar to the bin folder of, the, of your newly created beta instance. You might have to create the folder yourself because for some reason it doesn't do it itself, so there you go. Bin, this is where, this is where single player commands expects the world edit jar to be. And a lot of these mods you'll see a readme file that tells you like general information about the mod, a uh, version list, and install instructions, which of course are horridly out of date during the making of this video. Don't install how many items or too many items in the same instance, that might cause some crap. So let's just install these things. Okay, drag and drop worked, except this is wrong. You don't want to put them in the mods directory because, well, that's not the right way to do it. You actually have to put most, if not all of them, into the version category, as I said before. So let's uh, try to find the mods or on my desktop. So let's do too many items, mod loader MP. We don't actually need that because we don't have any mods that require it as of right now. There's minimap, audio mod. Let's see even if industrial craft will work. Mod loader and single player commands. Mod loader needs to be at the top. Audio mod should be right near the top, right below mod loader. And a too many items should be, I think, the last one. And industrial craft. I, you know, I don't think this will work, but let's see if it'll work. Uh, okay. Let's just go into a freaking world and see what happens. Uh, bleh. The game broke. I've never seen this screen before, that's new. Okay, what broke about it? Player helper. Okay, so that's the problem with launch wrapper. It's not compatible with single player commands, I believe. Let's just remove all other mods. This is how you debug mods, by the way. You remove all the other mods except the one or two you think are causing the problem. So, yeah. Single player commands is not compatible with the launch wrapper fix unfortunately so you can't use those at the same time but i think you can use everything else at the same time in this list so let's do that let's go into the world and here we are and if we go into here we see that industrial craft didn't actually work and i'm pretty sure that's because that actually requires minecraft forge to be installed and or too many items just doesn't support modded items so let me install how many items just to check that uh, this is just how you debug stuff, by the way. And, uh, 
No, it's still not loaded. So, uh, yeah, it turns out industrial craft. This really does need forge, which means you probably do actually have to use the mods folder uh, for this one mod. It's the first instance where you actually need to do that, like the first version of Minecraft, because, well, it's the first version of Minecraft that um, had a forge version for it. So let's go to mcarchive.net again. Let's uh, search for forge, Minecraft forge, and then we'll scroll all the way down to the first version, <laughs> which is the client. We need the client zip. and if you want to download it quicker, just go problems downloading and click direct link. And now it's downloaded. Add to minecraft.jar, navigate to where it's downloaded to, and just open it. This should, again, be, I think, at the top. I'm not sure why this isn't working. <laughs> it's just, like, not working. Am I an idiot? I think I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's remove this. Yeah, I'm just being stupid. So in some of these mods, uh, some of the time, you'll find that the files are all separated, they're all discombobulated. They're actually organized in a way that are that um, allows the mod maker to put everything in one folder and still give you pretty much everything you need. So the server version, the resources, as in like the sounds, even like ex experimental patches and stuff, stuff they, they didn't want to add into the main mod, and then of course the mod itself, which is usually in the form of a bunch of class files or just another zip file that you have to extract if this was, you know, 15 years ago. But since it isn't, we just open the Minecraft folder, select everything, and compress it into a zip, or name this industri industrial... Okay, that's good enough. And that is basically the mod. Except we need to add... Um, this is... Uh, Industrial Craft is a great example of a mod that does require the use of audio mod. So, resources. We have to go to, to the Minecraft folder of this instance and then drag this resources folder over here. That's not going to work. So we actually have to open the resources folder, open this one as well, and just drag the mod folder into there. That should work. Now, what we have to do is add that zip we created and then this should technically work uh, failed to load mod I don't know why it didn't crash though that's weird and usually it would crash so let's add forge back in see if that fixes it <clears throat> failed to load mod I actually do not know what the hell is going on Okay, so this is a mod that does actually require Mod Loader MP, so let's go ahead and install Mod Loader MP. Mod Loader MP should be right below Mod Loader. And there we go, as we can see, it has loaded a bunch more crap. Now we can go into our world, and we can see that Industrial Craft has loaded. We can, uh, we'll actually go into cheat mode, and then get a nuke, and load up. Oh, where's the flint and steel? Actually, it's probably just redstone now, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, there we go. Oh, god. Oh, no, I don't have a SPC. Ah, balls. I'm so dead. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Oh, gosh. Ow. Okay, so that's different. Alright, so that's that's pretty much how to install mods on beta 1.7.3 with the M1 fix. Sorry, this video is kind of messy. I kind of had to edit around my mistakes because I haven't done this in a while, but hopefully I'll make more tutorials soon that can either entertain, inform, and amaze. So thanks for watching. This has been our Redux. I'll see you all in the next live stream, short, or video. Whatever that may be, thanks for watching, guys. And actually, one more thing before I head off. If you want to share your mod pack with your friends for some reason, because you can't really play multiplayer with this, is when you click on your instance and click export, and then uh, just click OK, and then you choose a path for your the exported instance, and then it'll compress everything into a zip. Now, if you delete your instance, well, you have a backup, so you can just import it, or you share this file with your friends um, through Google Drive or something, and they will be able to launch the exact same game. As we can see, this is where we just left off, and that's where the video ends. <laughs>